Here we are visiting the Arts Council of Greater Kalamazoo. Let's start with you, Kristen, and have you reintroduce us to your council. Sure. So the Arts Council of Greater Kalamazoo, we serve the county of Kalamazoo, but we also serve the surrounding six counties around us. And we're a membership organization. We serve artists and arts organizations. We try to infuse arts and culture into um, all of the economies of um, our communities. What is the mission of your council? We like to think of ourselves as the connector. So in terms of connecting our artists and our arts organizations with the rest of the community, and we all know that we've spent an entire year uh, and then some now not being connected or trying to connect in a meaningful way. And so uh, hopefully people can come to us for resources. They can come to us uh, to connect with other artists and with folks who um, want to engage in artistic services. But there are also administrative jobs. How did you handle the COVID-19 financial relief? Yes, so we were lucky we did get a PPP loan uh, ourselves, which enabled us to stay uh, working, which also then meant that we could engage the different foundations within our community, not to help us personally, but to get money to turn it right back out into the community. So last uh, year in 2020, we gave out $351,000 and that was spread over 83 artists and organizations. And we know that our relief wasn't the thing that that um, was a make or break, but we like to think that it, it cushioned just enough that maybe somebody kept a job for just a little bit longer or uh, an artist was able to put food on the table and, and, and pay the rent. So very proud of my staff and all of the work that they did to make sure that that happened. And, and one of those examples is with Summertime Live. Um, we partner with Richland and Portage Schoolcraft parchment, ashtamo, and also beef on bait. And uh, we were able to bring everybody together <laughs> at that first meeting. And Kristen was able to say, hey, if you need some support, like we, we can still do that. <laughs> so all of our partners that we had last year were able to be on with us again this year for Summertime Live. Well, how about fiscal sponsorships? Where do we start here? Yes, it's the uh, it's the one program of the Arts Council that is probably the least known. So we can ask act as a fiscal sponsor. We're open to to helping provide those business services and provide the financial oversight if they're looking to get a grant for uh, for a project or they want to become a nonprofit but they're not ready to make that leap. Uh, hopefully, folks that are watching and thinking uh, you know about the next best thing they want to start. Um, we're open to having that conversation. And hopefully that comes with a phone call, perhaps to you, Bianca, with the question, how do, how do I become a partner? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's been great to also have those, you know, conversations with, with uh, you know, people on the outside wanting to make sure that they're a part of Art Hop and they're uh, a part of, you know, our programs and, and, you know, partnering with us. Perhaps grant partners, memberships as well? Sure, absolutely, yes. Uh, we are a membership organization, so our members are kind of the heartbeat of what we do. And then the more members we have, we know the more vibrant our community is in terms of uh, sharing those resources and uh, having a community to support each other. And we also offer a program that we called Another Way to Pay. So if you are having difficulty, which we know some people still are having difficulties making ends meet financially, um, a little bit of time, a little bit of elbow grease, helping out other artists and helping us in the community for a few hours, and you've got yourself a membership to the Arts Council. So perhaps bringing some of the necessary programming from 2020 into uh, the next decade. As you know, Kristen said, there's so many great uh, outcomes from this past year. We've had um, 82,000 uh, virtual folks that have been with us that we've been able to keep pumping up, <laughs> you know, as we go move forward. And, um, you know, our concerts in the park, we have eight concerts, so we have a full fledged, you know, um, amount of artists and entertainment. And so, uh, yeah, it's been really great to continue to look into this 2021 with, you know, connecting those dots. Bianca, spend a moment talking about, uh, well, truly an upcoming activity you want to share. Yeah, so April 2nd will be our first outdoor art hop, and we're going to start at 6 p.m. And that location is going to be on Bates Alley. 
And also we have a couple other businesses on Kalamazoo Mall, like um, MRC Artworks and Colors and Cocktails, uh, Cherry Chocolate Art, that are going to also be with us on our credit union, which is right around the corner. I know we can't do it now, but I'm itching to learn some art. So what do you have for me in the near future? Absolutely. So during April 2nd Art Hop, you can come down to Bates Alley, Shelly, and make an awesome sand candle through the Kalamazoo Candle Company, where you can pick all kind of different colors and make all kind of different patterns in your own personalized jar. And they'll hook you up with the process and you'll learn how to do that and get to take it home. See you there. All right. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.